Upstairs in Octave Studios, I just love this new space. It's It just feels good up here, you know? I love it. Thanks for joining me. Joshua in West Virginia, West Virginia. He writes to me and he says, Hey, Paul, I started my audio journey about three years ago, and I've taken a huge interest in the engineering behind it all. Good, good job. Naturally, I found your channel, and I click every video that pops up, and I thank you for posting so many. My pleasure, sir. I think we're up to 2,200 videos now. Oh, my God. <laughs> a question that's been sitting on my mind is, what's the amp stage doing inside an amp versus the gain stage? If the purpose of an amp is to increase loudness and the gain stage increases the input voltage into the amp, then what is the amp stage doing after that? I've seen a lot of advice saying to run an amp on the lowest gain possible, but this sounds counterintuitive because you're throwing away free voltage. Please explain. Okay, so a power amplifier is, as you point out, two basic circuits, a voltage gain stage and a current gain stage. All right, two separate items. The voltage gain stage, as you bring up, makes the voltage higher. So one volt in, if you have a typical amplifier gain of, let's call it for easy math, 30 dB, one volt in equals 30 dB, uh, 30 volts out, right? So 30 dB and thir is actually a, a, a multiple of 30. So one volt in equals 30 volts out, which is also 30 dB of gain, okay. And that's your voltage gain stage. So coming out of a preamplifier, there's very little. It's one to two volts coming out of a preamp. Now we need to jack it up to pretty high voltage in order to drive our speakers. But that voltage gain stage has no watts, has no ability to drive the motors inside of a loudspeaker. Headphones? Sure. Loudspeakers? Nah. You need watts. You need power. So the output stage is a gain of 1, 30 volts in, 30 volts out. But it's a whole series of buffers. And typically, they're called emitter followers. All right, And that uses the beta of the transistor. Let's see, I'm using terms. I try not to do this. I'm using terms that people don't know what that means. What is the beta of a transistor? I don't want to get too deep into the weeds, but uh, okay, now, now that I'm already into the weeds, um, <laughs> a transistor is a device that amplifies current. So a little current in equals a big current out. And the beta of a transistor is its gain. So let's say that a typical transistor has a beta of 100. Okay, so that means that for a given input current, let's say one milliamp, okay, let, let just, let's just say 0.1 amps, just to keep the, the math simple. So 0.1 amps, we've got a voltage swing up and down, and this input is drawing 0.1 amps, very small amount, right? So your voltage gain stage has to have enough power or oomph to be able to drive 0.1 amps, okay? So it's got enough current to do that. Well, at the output where, because remember, a transistor is just a valve. This valve is being turned on and off by the base, and there's a collector and, a, and, a, and an emitter, and as the base wiggles up and down, current flows if it wiggles up, current flows through from collector to emitter, straight down, and we get lots of current going through there. And as it goes down, it turns it off. It's, it's, a, it's like turning a spigot of water on, right? So with a beta of 100, you can get 100 times more current at the output. That's called current gain, okay? So 100 times 0.1 is, what is that, 10? 100 times, yeah, 10. So you could get 10 amps out 
where you're putting 0.1 amp in. And that's the beta. So you have a whole bunch of these lined up in series, uh, yeah, in series, one after another, that a little bit of voltage gain and current here it, it, uh, equals a voltage, the same voltage gain and a lot of current watts out here. Voltage gain, current gain, and that's how we drive a loudspeaker. I hope that helps.